My name is Quentin Aaron. I am an actor. Growing up, um, I was always into movies and television and TV shows, and I got lost in the characters that I liked that amused me and always wanted to do those. And I, I used to get mad that I'm not, I wasn't a part of those projects and always said to myself, when I grow up, I want to be that. You know, sometimes when I was younger, I would get confused, thinking, you know, because I watched spy movies, I thought I wanted to be a spy. And then I would watch uh, karate movies and stuff, and I thought I wanted to be a ninja. And then I just said, no, I just want to act like those characters in movies, so living out my dream. I think growing up, I was inspired by definitely people like Denzel, um, and it's funny, I was just inspired by a lot of different people because I watched a lot of different movies. Even grew up, I watched everything. I, John Travolta, to this day, is still one of my favorite actors. I love all the stuff he's done. Um, you know, Morgan Freeman's a great, you know, I met him a couple times and he's just awesome. I, I want to work with him. Um, I, I get inspired by a lot of people uh, and just, people that do the kind of roles that I want to do. You know, I feel like I tend to think outside of the box a lot just because I'm a big black guy, I would like to do a role that, you know, uh, you know, I would like to be the next James Bond one day in the movie. I, you know, if I could, that would be, that's me thinking outside of the box. Not to say that that would actually happen, but, <laughs> you know, maybe somewhere in that range of demographic. I'm gonna have the cool name and the suit and all the ladies and, and all the cool gadgets and, you know. Some of the challenges I face on the, just say on a daily basis, being in the industry. Um, because I'm so big, it's hard for me to hide when I go out in the public <laughs> or disguise myself. So if I go to places like Disney World or Six Flags, um, I'm almost, always taking pictures all the time. It's like, it's, it's like you try to disguise yourself. I have a beard now, and I didn't have that in the movie. I'll wear a hat and shades, and people will still point me out. But sometimes it's funny because instead of getting a uh, big mic, I'll get Rick Ross. <laughs> and I'm like, me? Oh, nah. <laughs> And it's like you almost want to out yourself because just to let them know that you're not who they think you are. <laughs> but no, I'm Big Mike. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, Blindside, I love it. I'm like, yeah. I should have just stuck with Rick <laughs> So it's, it's funny. I am currently producing my first feature film and it is a Christmas movie. It's very faith-based, but it has like a, a darker element to it than the regular Hallmark type movies, even though it could still be played on Hallmark. Um, it's called My Last Christmas, and it's about a young girl who's dying of a specific type of bone marrow cancer. And there's a, there's a lot to the story that I, I, you know, I have to read the script again, but it's also, I can't, I can't give away a lot, but I, I play an older gentleman in the story, but I'm also a homeless gentleman, so, which is the reason why I'm growing out the beard, to look a little scruffy and, you know, a little unneat. <laughs> I think right now where I'm at in, in, in my career, as far as uh, acting, I want to do more than just act, like producing, basically because I want to create the kind of roles that I can see myself doing that Hollywood necessarily wouldn't see a guy like me doing. And my mom used to always tell me, you know you best. So it's like what you want to do, make it happen. You know, you can promote you or sell you better than anyone else can because you know you best. And for that reason is why I started developing and creating a lot of my own products. I have three projects in development that I'm creating my own. I have some treatments together and uh, a lot of my ideas, but I'm, you know, touching all the genres. I have a psychological thriller, 
an action sci-fi futuristic movie that I'm working on developing. I have a, a love story which takes place in Italy and uh, you know it's a couple other things so I'm you know trying to touch everything and in each project that I create I am creating a role for me that you know it's believable for a guy my size to do it but it's not so far-fetched that you know the rest of the world will say well you can never play that it's just it's basically to open up their eyes to say look I can do more than what you think I can you know it's funny I I kind of like coming off of the blind side I've kind of been deemed a, a role model to a lot of underprivileged youth and just people in general. I've, I've been told so many times how that role inspired people to go out and do better for themselves. So many uh, families have told me that they've gone out and adopt, adopted kids after watching that film and it is it's best, it's basically it was a blessing for me to be a part of that because there's so much told in film that isn't uplifting. It isn't, you know, um, how you say it, motivational. But to be a part of something that not only is uplifting and motivational, but wins awards for it and, and has such a big fan base, has such a big platform where you can tell your story and 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 put positive messages out there and positive energy into the world and be awarded for that it was just a blessing in a sense because I was able to do something that I love and have so much good come out of it. I would love for people to remember me as hmm, I don't know, I've been, I've been, I've been given a couple of titles, let me run them down a little bit, uh, The Gentle Giant, America's Teddy Bear, <laughs> um, Sandra has America's Sweetheart, so I said I'll take Teddy Bear, it's cool, <laughs> but, um, I, I, I just want to be remembered as a good guy, you know, uh, who inspired a lot of people to do good in spite of all the bad in the world. And, you know, someone who, everyone who don't know the path to take can look and kind of come to me as a guide for which direction to go in their life and kind of like be that forefront to lead them on the right path. Well, I just finished a film, feature film, uh, called 1982, starring Hill Harper, Bookie Woodbine, Lala, Sharon Lill, and myself. <laughs> well, I, I, I worked on it for like two days, but it was cool. It was a real intense uh, couple days. We shot out in Philly, and the director, Tommy Oliver, is basically a movie about his life uh, growing up. I believe Hill Harper plays his father. Or so, and um, I play one of Hill's friends from back in the day who has gotten out of the game and now owns a, a pawn shop and he's trying to be on an up and up and straight and narrow. And he kind of feels like compelled to back his boy up when he finds out that he's getting in trouble with the, the wrong crowd, you know he's some scary dudes but he's at the same time he's like they go back 15 years so if he's gonna walk into the lion's den he's right there beside him so that's my character in that movie it was, it was a pretty cool you know pretty cool movie I mean I was born in 84 in the Bronx this was 92, uh, 82 in, in Philly so I got to see a little bit of you know what I missed for a couple of years I am actually looking for writers hopefully to uh, connect and build with um, you know um, writers that write with heart and open minds and um, have that unpredictable element you know I, I don't like for any of my stories to be predictable like if someone can look at the first five minutes of your movie 
and predict the ending, I didn't do my job, you know? <laughs> You know, I want people to keep on guessing, and then, and then I want them to almost be like, oh, this is going to happen. And then when they see that didn't happen, but whatever did happen kind of caught them like, oh, man, that was crazy. i never seen that. That's how I'm doing my job. So it's, it's like, I like to be unpredictable um, and always captivate. So those are the kind of writers I'm looking for.